Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to uh, show you how to work with images. Uh, it's going to be an introductory video for everyone who are interested in, in developing the, uh, an application of this type. Uh, it will demonstrate uh, how to uh, read pixels from an image, uh, how to get a uh, red, green, blue uh, value for each of the pixels in the image and eventually how to change uh, those red, green and blue values for uh, each of the pixels on the image. So when I run this application here, uh, I have two images. Uh, let's just focus on the first one for, for start. And now, as you can see, uh, as I move uh, my cursor uh, over the image, I pretty much uh, am displaying a, a coordinate of the cursor. And uh, on, under those coordinates, there is a pixel, of course. And uh, the red, green, blue values of that uh, uh, pixel are displayed uh, here. So, for example, in this case, we have uh, x166, uh, epsilon uh, 124, and we have red, green, blue uh, values for the pixel on those uh, coordinates. So uh, pretty much this example shows how to get pixel on some coordinates and uh, once we get that pixel how to uh, get uh, red, green and blue values of uh, those uh, of, of that uh, pixel, right? How to do it? Well, uh, obviously I've used a mouse move event on um, this uh, image one. And if we open it, uh, we can see this code here. And that is actually all that is required uh, in order to get the pixel and get the uh, red, green, blue of values of that pixel. So uh, what is actually done here, we get the handle of the image because it is mouse move over the image. And uh, we get the pixel on the uh, X and Epsilon coordinates. And the X and Epsilon coordinates will be the coordinates uh, where our cursor is currently at over that image one. So uh, when we get that pixel, it is stored inside this object. And then we use that object as an argument here for the get R, get uh, G and get B uh, value uh, functions uh, and uh, those will return uh, RGB uh, values for uh, that pixel on those uh, coordinates and the rest is easy simply by uh, uh, co connecting th uh, those values into one string and displaying it in a label one so like I said now if we move the cursor here right each time we move the cursor we are actually uh, getting a pixel on those coordinates and for that pixel we are getting its uh, red, green and uh, blue values which we display inside this uh, label. But now the next uh, thing is, okay, I see now how I can um, read uh, the current uh, pixel and get its uh, red, green, blue values, but what if I want to change those values? How can I change the pixels uh, some pixels of uh, an image. Well, in this case, um, well, let's see. If I uh, increase uh, this uh, red scroll bar, it will actually give some amount of uh, additional red component to RGB values of each pixel on the image. So each pixel of the image becomes more and more red. Uh, same goes if I'm using the second scr scroll bar for uh, green or uh, for blue. And pretty much we just read the uh, existing uh, RGB values, but in this case we just increase the red component uh, or a green or blue component, or we simply combine them, right? So how do we uh, change the uh, red, green and blue values for each pixel? Well, in this case we use the uh, scan line, uh, so we go from um, for uh, height uh, to, to width, uh, uh, we are scanning uh, uh, the image and in order to access red, green and blue uh, values, this is the um, approach that you need to use. So pretty much to access a, a red component, that is J uh, multiplied by 3 plus 2, uh, that is the red, plus 1 is a green, and plus 0 is actually a blue component. And uh, that is stored inside a, a temporary bitmap, which is later in assigned to a second image here. So temporary bitmap uh, originally copies the left uh, uh, image, 
uh, but temporary bitmap is inside the memory, not yet visible. Then once we uh, move our scroll bars, uh, that temporary uh, bitmap is being changed and after it is changed, it is assigned to this uh, image too. So that's the actual idea, right? Uh, because we are adding a, a red component depending on the scroll bar one position, uh, adding a green component depending on the scroll bar two position, and uh, the same thing goes for the uh, adding blue component. And like I said, that image which is inside the memory, uh, which was originally the left image, is now assigned to image two, and invalidate will uh, refresh that image. And of course, considering this was a uh, uh, dynamically allocated object, we will use uh, delete bitmap to uh, deallocate the memory. And uh, pretty much that's how it's done. Uh, it's not so hard, but again, uh, like I said, this is like an introductionary video for all of you who uh, maybe are uh, interested in uh, doing some applications that uh, in some matter, manner uh, are trying to manipulate images uh, or try to edit them and change them in some way. And I hope uh, for all of you that uh, it can be, uh, this video can be useful. Thank you for watching and see you soon.